Miss Brooke. I'm so glad you're joining us from home. I am here at the Orem Public Library and we are going to have an arts and crafts day today. Do you love making things at home? I sure do. So I'm going to show you all the supplies you'll need for today and then you can press pause and go and gather them, okay? So we, you are going to need some white paper, okay? And watercolors and a brush. Any brush will do. It could be skinny or bigger. Crayons. You'll need a bowl of water, a cup of water, just like this to go with the watercolors. And then if you have stickers, any kind of stickers will do. I'm going to use some circle ones today. You can even have some animal or flower ones. These are stars right here. So go see what stickers you have and gather a few of those. Okay, so go ahead and press pause and gather what you need. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, hopefully you've gathered all the things you need, all the supplies. I'm gonna show you what we're painting today. These are called resist paintings. Can you say resist paintings? That's a fun word, huh? Resist. Resist means that something is pushing back against something else. And that's what we're going to do in our art today. So if you look, I'll show you this one first. If you look at this painting that I did, I used crayons right here. And do you see what color I colored the moon? It's yellow, right? And then I used blue watercolors to paint over it. And do you see, did, they, did the moon mostly stay yellow? It did, didn't it? It stayed mostly yellow. There's a little tiny bit of blue from where I didn't color hard, but it stayed yellow. Same with the barn that I colored red. And then the rest of the sky is blue. And then do you see all these little shapes? Can you tell what shape they are from home? They're stars because it's a night sky. And I used some star stickers on here first, and then I painted over the stickers. And then after my painting was dry, I peeled off the stickers and then look, the stickers also resisted the paint and it stayed white, just like the color of the paper. So the crayons resist the paint and stickers resist the paint. So we're gonna use both today. If you have stickers, you can use those too. And here's another painting, I'll show you real quick and then we'll get started. I did a fall tree. And do you see what sticker I did down there? Can you tell by the shape what it is? It's a little squirrel right here. And I put a squirrel sticker down here and I painted over it and then it stayed white. And it's such a fun way to do art. So today I am going to paint a flower. So I brought some circle stickers here and I'm going to first make a flower. So I'm going to do a circle shape with my circle stickers. And you'll see when I'm pressing them down or as I'm putting them on the paper, I'm pressing them down a little bit so they have a nice seal to the paper. And that will make sure that no paint gets underneath. Seal those around there. Okay, now I'm going to do a nice stem. Now, friends, when you are doing your crayons, do you see how I'm pressing hard? I'm not coloring lightly. I'm pressing the crayon onto the paper to make it nice and dark that will help the paint to resist it because you'll have a lot of wax on there. Wax does not like to mix with paint and water, so it will resist it. Color some leaves here. And then, because this is an outside picture, I think I'll do a sun right in the corner. Hopefully at home, you are doing a fun painting too. You can do whatever you want. You can do a planet, you can do a rocket, a rainbow, a snowman, all kinds of things that you can draw at home. Or you can do a flower right along with me. Give it some sun rays. And then my sons almost always have sunglasses right because if you're a son I think you'd need sunglasses and then let's see I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a little bug in the air here buzzing around Hey, 
great. Okay, friends. Once your picture's all done with your stickers and crayons, this is the fun part. Scoot this over. Get out my water and my paints. And let's see, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a blue background since we're outside. So I get, when you have watercolors, you get the paintbrush wet and then you get it in the paint and you're just gonna go like this. And you can keep putting it in the water and in the paint. And you just color or paint right over the crayon. Do you see what happened there when you paint right over the crayon? Look at that. It kind of bubbles up, but it doesn't sink in. so excited to show you what it looks like when you peel off the stickers. We're going to peel off the stickers in a little while and that's the best part. Oh, look how it looks on that yellow sun. Stays yellow. library and I want you to see the finished product guess what I'm gonna use to help my painting dry a blow dryer and you might have one of these at your house it's kind of fun it's gonna help me dry my art a little faster okay so I blow dried my art a little bit and you can set yours just on the table to dry and when the paint is dry this comes the best part this comes the best part. We get to find wherever your stickers are and you're going to peel them off. Look at that. Look how fun that is. Do you see what shape it left behind? It left a circle behind and the paint didn't get underneath. So you're gonna go along your art and peel the stickers off just like this. Peel off the bug. You can have your grown ups help you get your sticker started if it's a little bit hard to get them off the paper. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get them started. Oh, look at that. All right, friends, here's my finished product. It's so fun when you finish a piece of art, isn't it? So, as you can see, the crayon and the stickers resisted all that paint. And you can still keep working on yours if you didn't finish. I wish I could see all of the paintings you guys are doing. I hope you have fun creating this week. Can you hang these up in your house? Make sure you do that so you can decorate your house. I hope you have a wonderful week, friends. Thanks for joining us today. See you later.